Hi, Jay here, and this episode we're going to be finishing the House Grime Delegation Outcast Gang. I've already painted the Kriegmaster and the Jaegerkin. I've got the two champions painted up, and this time we're doing the gangers, and then doing the bases. So stay with me, and at the end, we'll have some action shots, and we'll go over the stats and the weapons and loadout of this gang. This time on JD in the Sump Sea. Yeah, and thanks everybody for watching. I'm gonna start off now with uh, a bunch of uh, primed fighters. We're gonna start with a light gray paint. This paint is gonna be going onto their pants. I'm gonna use the gray to make sure that I get a nice, good, a solid coat that'll look good with some wash on it. All right, so all five are done. We're gonna move over to a light blue. The light blue is going to be on their shirts their sleeves, basically the top half of the bodies of these gangers. Uh, this one in particular, I'm painting light blue on the body as well. That I'm going to repaint in a dark blue in the next step. Alright, now we're moving on to black. So. All the light blue is on all the models, and now we're gonna go black, and the black is going to be on anything that I'm going to paint silver later. This is basically a black undercoat. All right, now I'm moving to the dark blue. And the dark blue uh, is called Liberty Blue. I'm gonna paint their torsos this dark blue. Alright, moving on to brown. Mornfang brown, I believe, is the brown I'm using. Now I'm going to be painting the boots and things like belts and straps and holsters. Alright, now we're going to use Kislev Flesh, uh, Citadel Layer Paint, for all the heads and arms and hands on the models. Moving over to Territorial Beige, it's a kind of a tan, similar to the flesh color, but slightly different. I'm going to be painting armbands. Um, and the bedroll on this guy's backpack in this uh, beige color. All right, now we're moving on to silver. I like using lead belcher. I like the really dark silver that the lead belcher uh, provides. I'll be painting over all the things I painted black in a previous step. These are all things that are metal, uh, mainly weapons um, and other details on armor and things like that. Next, I'm going to blue. Now this is a blue that I'm just gonna be doing the eyes of the models because they're all wearing some sort of goggles. So I like to use blue as the lens color or the glass color for the goggles.
All right, next, we're gonna move over to Nuln Oil. Now this Nuln Oil I've had for a while, and I do remember it working fine. We're gonna see real soon here that I don't like how this turns out. This isn't flowing like Null Oil usually flows. Now luckily, when I went to those game stores and picked up the Ashes of Faith box, they happen to have some old Null Oil still sealed. So if you look here, it doesn't look very good. You see how it doesn't really cover the model? It just kind of goes into some of the recesses and doesn't spread evenly. So I'm going to open a brand new bottle of Null Oil from a few years ago. Never been opened. And we're going to try this Null Oil over all the models and hopefully this turns out. And it does. So, next we're moving on to Agrax Earthshade. So the Null Oil went on anything that was uh, gray, gray or blue um, or black. Now the Agrax, I'm going to put paint over anything that is brown or that beige color that I painted earlier. Now I'm moving on to the Flesh Wash from Army Painter. I do like this Flesh Wash quite a bit. And this is of course gonna go on heads and arms and hands. These guys are almost done, but there's one thing left to do and that's their bases. So I'm now painting them black as a good base color. I'm taking an orange and I'm going to just kind of splotch it onto the bases in kind of random spots. It's going to act as kind of a, a rusty color. Then we're going back to the lead belcher. I'm going to do a pretty uh, heavy dry brush with this. It's not really a dry brush, it kind of is, but it's pretty heavy. Just kind of get the tops of the metal parts on the bases. I'm not getting into the recesses really with this. Then we're moving over to Typhus Corrosion. Typhus Corrosion, then I'm gonna kind of just splotch onto the bases pretty heavy. Uh, kind of cover them pretty good, pretty well with that. Not the whole of the bases, but most of them. Now we're gonna do a true light dry brush with Lead Belcher on the bases. And this is going to give them a nice, nice look. Hit the edges. There you go. Now I've got a dark brown for around the edges of the base, and then we'll be done. Now for the reveal.
for watching. Please like and subscribe.